Hello, and it's another beautiful day here on the channel. Sasquatch Prospecting here, coming to you from Lake Ontario. Uh, just outside of Toronto, in Pickering, Ontario. That is the Pickering Nuclear Power Plant. One of the oldest in the world. Built 1971, the first reactor went online. Uh, it's going to be decommissioned by 2025. So it's kind of the end of the line for this, this plant. So we're going to go to the visitor center. We're going to go see if we can talk to some people at the hydro company and get some info on nuclear power and everything going on in uh, Pickering and how the decommission processing works, how long it's going to take. There's talks of small modular reactors, Pickering repurposing, uh, refurbishment. A couple things to note though, one of the oldest power plants in the world and one of the largest. It generated at its time when all eight were running. The, it was one of the biggest, if not the biggest generating station in the world. If you like this kind of content, keep posted because it's going to be a lot coming. And make sure to check out my video on Darlington Nuclear Power and Bruce Nuclear Power as well. So we are now in Pickering in the GTA, the Greater Toronto Area. Uh, we're on the uh, east side of the GTA right now in Pickering. So we're going to go take a look at everything and uh, see what we can see. OPG, Ontario Power Generation. The Bruce is run by Bruce Power. And at one point, it was one of also one of the largest facilities in the world, right? The Bruce has taken that away from it, but... And plus, two of its uh, reactors are fully decommissioned now, or in the process of being decommissioned. And a few of them here are still active. And, but by 2025, uh, end of 2024, they plan to have them all in the beginning phases of being shut down. Maybe get a uh, license for refurbishment. Pickering is noted for its power plant production. Uh, and it's nuclear power plant production at that. Pickering is one of the oldest nuclear power facilities in the world. It was built, the first reactor came online in 1971, which is uh, pretty crazy to think. You know, I wasn't even thought back then. We already had nuclear reactors, right? 1971 was the first, and it was in Pickering. The first nuclear reactor came online. And since then they've had eight. There's eight. Two have been decommissioned completely. Um, the six are still operational and they're going to be shutting them down progressively because you can't, you know, too much of a shock to the system and com complexity of operations to just shut them all down at once doesn't work that way, right? So they've shut two down. Um, they're applying to the government, uh, the Nuclear Power Commission and everything for um, refurbishment of uh, varying, I would assume it would be the older ones, the ones from the 80s, because, uh, you know, the, there's life expectancy here. See. If any of you guys want to make the pilgrimage out here, um, especially if people live in the GTA, there's an information center, Pickering Nuclear Information Center. It also says, there's a sign saying this facility is patrolled by armed responders for the protection of employees. There's security guard, armed security here, right? Because it's a nuclear power facility. So it's perfectly safe to come here. Just go to the visitor center, obviously. Respect the rules and the signage and everything. This is Pickering Nuclear. The one of the oldest nuclear power plants in the world. And we're getting a treat here with Pickering because we can actually see the reactors. When we were at Darlington and the Bruce, we couldn't see the vacuum buildings. As you see there, you can see one, two, three, four, and then going on all the way. Those are the vacuum buildings. So there's the containment building. So if something was to happen, whether there is a breach, a meltdown, steam pipe leak, very well breaks, right? Bolt isn't done tight enough which that doesn't happen in this industry, but let's say it did for sake of argument. Those buildings there are called vacuum buildings and they're the responsibility of those buildings to basically suck out all of the nuclear steam or nuclear contaminated steam that is made, would otherwise then be discharged into the greater Toronto area. And if about 4 million people in the greater Toronto area would be exposed to some form of, you know, nuclear radiation. Alrighty, so I just wanna go see if I can get a close-up of these reactors because we couldn't see them at Darlington or the Bruce. So yeah, you see on that map, right? You have the the turbine hulls, one, one through four, and then four through eight. And you can see each one gets its own switch yard and then the power, power lines that send power out to the city. See the buildings made of concrete, right? Reinforced concrete, each reactor building. So one, two, three, four, switch yard and then you've got the power lines coming out and 14 percent of all the power in ontario comes out of here and reactors one and four are currently decommissioned 
and placed in a safe state. And the other reactors are still producing, but by 2024, the show will be over. There's plans to potentially use small modular reactors in place of the turbines and reactors if they can't get the approval from the government. But if they do get the approval from the government, then they begin refurbishment of five, six, seven, eight, basically, I believe. And you can see here the other um, reactor bays. So we've got one, two, three, four, another switch yard and more power lines. So the original ones have a longer life expectancy than the new ones. Yeah, whereas they're not sure about the refurbishment of these ones. They'll do it. What are they going to do with all the guys, right? There's so much invested in all this and... Uh, well, look gonna... at all the infrastructure. You can see all the switch yards and stuff too. You get much closer to this one, eh? Yeah, I know. The Pickering is... But Bruce and Darlington, you weren't... You, they didn't let you near it. Pickering's older though, right? It was the 70s. Different... Different concerns back then. They're always paranoid like they are now. This is Lake Ontario too, if you have any ever seen Lake Ontario. It's one of the Great Lakes. We've been touring the Great Lakes. We did Erie, Huron, and Ontario. We have not done Michigan. Well, we came, Michigan's in the States and Superior's further north, but we've done three of the five Great Lakes. So anyways, enough of that. Here's Pickering Nuclear. You can actually see six of the eight turbine halls there. And the vacuum, the vacuum tank there, the vacuum chamber, that cylindrical uh, building, kind of in the center of all of them, that's the vacuum portal. So any uh, breach of containment will get sucked in, negative pressure sucked into there. Positive versus negative pressure. Positive being pushing, negative being sucking with the pressure. So it'll get sucked into that building and then it just condenses into solid mass as opposed to steam. Alrighty, so we finished up the Pickering Visitor Center. That was incredible, guys. Uh, as per usual on the channel, right? We do cool stuff here. So as you can see, I'm back where we started on the shores of Lake Ontario here, Pickering plant in the background. So if you like this kind of content, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and check out my other videos. There will be other stuff on power generation. So we're gonna do a lot of cool stuff, guys, with regards to power. So if you like this kind of stuff, like and subscribe uh, and keep a watch out for the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon because uh, I'll have more stuff coming for power. But anyways, for now, we're gonna take in the nice views on this fine, uh, not too cold actually, uh, December day. And uh, Sasquatch Prospector out.